What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. What's up, everybody? UFC 230 just happened, and I am bummed that Derek Lewis did not knock out Daniel Cormier. I was hoping that that would happen. I was hoping that the underdog, the man with uh, the comeback ability like no other, um, who knows how to throw the big punches, was not able to land enough on Daniel Cormier. Cormier just, the wrestling was too good. <clears throat> and he was able to get the back and uh, choke out Derek Lewis. I have a feeling that he knew... Just Derek Lewis has a tendency to get up and uh, give his back when he to stand up from uh, when he gets taken down. So I had a feeling that Cormier was just like, I'm just going to take him down enough times, and one of those times I'll be able to get Derek Lewis's neck, get the hooks in, which was fast, man. Daniel Cormier, for being like a fucking giant roly-poly, got those hooks in and was able to sink in that choke super quick. Um, so I would imagine his training camp was just like tons of wrestling, right? Because he's not going to be boxing with fucking Black Beast. Tons of wrestling and then transitions to the back. And probably different types of wrestling takedowns because he was going for, you know, single legs and stuff like that. It seemed like a little bit different than uh, what he normally does. Uh, but Cormier wins it. The champ champ, which, you know, his light heavyweight belt, he never really beat any a, any champ for that. He just kind of gifted it. Um, but Daniel Cormier wins it again. I don't really care to watch him fight Brock Lesnar. It's not a fight that interests me at all um, because I don't really want to have to root for Brock. You know, I'm kind of like I, I appreciate DC... He retires. I appreciate. I appreciate. I love him on the mic. Him and Paul Felder, by far the best two fighters that three man commentate with Rogan and Anik. By far. You know Daniel Cormier. I enjoy him. He's you know he's a delight. Maybe it's his little professional wrestling shtick that I don't you know that I don't really like, and the fact that I'm a John Jones fan. You know, just his whole history with the belt at light heavyweight is very muddied. I'm glad he went back to heavyweight and actually got a legitimate belt and was able to defend it, even though it seems like he's been given a lot of really favorable matchups at heavyweight. I know there's big names, but, you know, aside from Stipe, which, but, you know, whatever happened in Strike Force, he fought a lot of guys that have had really up and down careers. Like they go on streaks, and I'm not saying that he caught some of these people on maybe a low end or a partial part of these streaks, but I'm just saying. Um, but uh, great fights overall. Fucking Weidman versus Jacare. Jacare came back to win it. Uh, Weidman just you know looked like he was outboxing him and outlanding him, but just Jacare was able to put it to him and knock him out, get a TKO. Um, little late stoppage from the ref as well that was kind of uh is what it is i guess uh i've seen worse i've seen worse you see worse like when bisbin got knocked out by dan henderson and then dan henderson d did a flying elbow right that's that's worse than what happened against weidman but like universally that's praised as being like some badass shit what dan henderson did even though realistically worse than what Jacare did. I mean, he threw a couple hammer, hammer fists. It wasn't a flying elbow to the face after you've been completely flatlined. Um, so kind of a weird double standard with the UFC community. Uh, but w whatever. The like double standards aren't new. Uh, Kanene beat David Branch. Not a huge... I, you know, I was not buying the hype train of David Branch. I get it. He was a champ somewhere else. He got cut. There's a good story there. But the fact that Rockhold got a championship after beating Branch, I thought was ridiculous. Rockhold being a champion, I think, is ridiculous. Way overhyped as well. Um, Kanene looked great coming down from heavyweight. B definitely looking forward to seeing what this guy can do um, at middleweight. Uh, then we had Marshman, Carl Robinson. Good fight overall. Israel Adesanya just 
continues to impress. Uh, destroyed Brunson, another guy that had some hype, a little overrated as well. He kind of got figured out. Adesanya just picked him apart. Easy, easy win for him, um, and it looked great. Love watching this guy fight. He's kind of like a mix of Anderson Silva and John Jones. You know, he also has the look of John Jones. He looks like a small John Jones, but doesn't necessarily have the fighting style of John Jones. Some moments he does, like the creativity that he has and just body structure, it looks, you know. But then also a lot of Anderson Silva, a lot of like that, that Muay Thai. Um, but anyway, good win for Israel. Uh, overall, good fights. Jason Knight lost another one, kind of a bummer. Uh, Sajara Eubanks wins, even though she didn't make weight. Glad she didn't fight for a belt. I don't think she's ready to be champion anywhere. Uh, Roxanne, always looking better. Love to watch her fight. She's a great, great person, but, you know, just wasn't enough. Um, but, yeah, overall, good fights, man. Good fights. Uh, a draw. Really crazy fight. Lando Venata, another guy that had a lot of potential and just doesn't seem to be able to put it together. But it was a tough fight for him anyway. Um, but yeah, great, great night of fights overall. Moving on, though, next Saturday, um, coming up with uh, some regular fights or fights regularly on Saturdays. This next one is a fight night in it's a Fox Sports 1 card from Denver, Colorado. Headlined by Chang Sung Jung, the Korean zombie versus Yair Rodriguez. It was supposed to be Frankie Edgar, uh, which would have been a great fight. Two legends competing. Uh, now we have a legend versus Yair, up and comer. Um, haven't seen Yair since I think he lost to Frankie. Uh, let's see how he's improved as a fighter. Definitely a dynamic fighter, really exciting to watch. But sometimes with those dynamic fighters, they can get shut down. And once they get shut down, they just kind of fade into obscurity. Um, so we'll see where he's at. Uh, but still high hopes for Yair. Donald Cerrone versus Mike Perry. I have a feeling Mike Perry is going to win this and win this in dominant fashion. Cerrone is an up-and-down fighter, and he's been on some downs, some drama with his past uh, gym, where Perry's from. I mean, he could come out and just destroy Perry, but I think, I think Perry's just a bigger dude. Can take, I think he can take what Donald can give, unless Donald steps into the Matrix, which he does do. Um, it just, I don't, he just hasn't done it for a while. He has moments of greatness and I don't know if he's going to be able to put it together against Perry. Uh, so I like Perry in that one. Raquel Pennington coming off her loss, uh, fighting, uh, Amanda Nunes, uh, probably last year, earlier this year, uh, probably not a good fight for her at the time. She's coming off a bunch of injuries, but now she's fighting Jermaine, Jermaine Durandamy, former 145 pound belt holder, the original, uh, but she gave it up because she didn't want to fight Cyborg. And it was kind of a controversial win against Holly Holm anyway. She hasn't fought since then. Um, I like Raquel Pennington in this. I think she's just got that ring rust off of her that Jermaine still has. Um, either way, it should be a good fight because they're both really good stand-up fighters. Uh, then we have Joseph Benavides versus Ray Borg. I think Ray Borg has this one. Uh, but I could be wrong. Benavides, his... Uh, He's, uh, you know, just octagon awareness, his intelligence, his uh, experience in the octagon might help him win it, uh, but should be a good fight overall. And uh, just in general, looks like a fun card. Denver, as long as there's no heavyweight fights, which there are none, hopefully we won't see altitude playing a factor, um, but it's good to see the fights going to Denver. Wish I had gone seeing fights uh, when I was out there, but it is what it is, people. Um, we'll see how I do next week when I recap it. Uh, go check out my website, inspiredisorder.com, for all of my work, my artwork, T-shirts like this one. Buy this shirt over at inspiredisorder.com. Follow me at Ray Taylor on social media. Binge the show, patreon.com slash inspiredisorder. Have a great day. Peace out.